We present MegaNERF, which enables the scalable construction of large-scale NERFs for virtual flyfers. We use neural radiance fields to build large-scale 3D environments from drone footage spanning buildings or even multiple city blocks. In contrast to the single object scenes on which NERFs are often evaluated, our scale poses multiple challenges, including the need to train against thousands of images of various lighting conditions, each of which capture only a small subset of the scene, prohibitively large model sizes that make it difficult to train on a single GPU, and significant challenges for fast rendering that would enable interactive flyfers. To address these constraints, we decompose the scene into multiple spatial cells and train a separate NERF submodule for each. In contrast to previous methods such as DERF or KiloNERF, which use spatial partitioning to speed up inference, we use it to enable data parallelism for scalable training. More specifically, we generate distinct training sets for each submodule, which are filtered to contain only potentially relevant pixels. To do this filtering, we sample points along the camera array corresponding to each training image pixel and add that pixel to the training set for only the spatial cells it intersects. For example, the red cell is trained of a subset of pixels from images A, B, and C. This pruning reduces the size of each training set by 10x on average. To generate new views for virtual flyfers, we make use of standard nerf ray casting and point sampling, but query the encompassing submodule for each sampled point. To further improve training, we use a separate mega nerf model to render the background using a similar outer volume formulation as in NERF++, but improve upon its unit sphere partitioning by instead using an ellipsoid that more tightly encloses the foreground. We also use camera altitude measurements to further increase sampling efficiency by terminating rays near ground level. Similar to NERF in the wild, we associate an additional appearance embedding vector with each input image to account for lighting variations between images. This also allows us to adjust properties such as weather and time of day by interpolating between these per-image embedding vectors. We perform an empirical evaluation of existing fast renderers on top of MegaNERF, in addition to our own novel method. Many existing methods, such as Planoctree, SNRG, or FastNERF, pre-compute model outputs and store them into a fixed resolution structure, such as a sparse voxel tree. Although this speeds up rendering greatly, we run into significant voxelization issues at our scene scale. Alternate fast rendering approaches, such as KiloNERF, require additional rounds of knowledge distillation and fine-tuning that incur significant overhead. We explore an orthogonal direction that exploits the temporal coherence of interactive flyfers. Our key insight is that once the information needed to render a given view is computed, we can reuse much of it for the next view. We therefore begin by pre-computing a coarse cache of opacity and color similar to Planock tree. In contrast to Planock tree, we dynamically subdivide the tree throughout the interactive visualization. As the camera traverses the scene, our renderer uses cached outputs to quickly produce an initial view and then performs additional rounds of model sampling to refine the image. As each subsequent frame has significant overlap with its predecessor, it benefits from the previous refinement and needs to only perform a small amount of incremental work to maintain quality. We evaluate MegaNERF against multiple varied datasets, including Urban Scenes 3D, the Quad 6K dataset, and our own publicly released MIL-19 dataset that we recorded firsthand near a former industrial complex. We first evaluate the scalability of our training method by comparing MegaNERF's reconstruction quality against multiple baselines, including NERF++ and MultiView Stereo. MegaNERF consistently produces sharper and more realistic renderings, even after allowing the other approaches to train well over 24 hours. We then evaluate existing fast renderers on top of MegaNERF, along with our dynamic viewer. Our viewer remains within 0.8 dB in PSNR relative to conventional NERF rendering, while accelerating the process by over 40x. Please refer to our project page for more details.